So there's nothing better than a vintage Airstream with that mirror polish. And there's lots of different ways to go about it and there's quite a bit of debate whenever you start to get into the forums about which way is the best. Uh, I think ultimately you gotta kinda figure out what's gonna work best for you, potentially with the tools you have. Um, and you know, I don't really feel like there's a right or a wrong way or the best way. Um, there may be, I don't really know. But I'm gonna talk about what I'm doing my way and in this video I'm actually gonna compare um, two different tools that I am using just to show um, kind of like what they can be good for and just from a speed standpoint um, what I what I personally think is one of the best tools when it comes to covering a larger area especially whenever you have a little bit rougher conditioned body like I do um, especially here around the front there's a lot of rock chips and all that stuff so um, we got the airway buffing pad and this is a Harbor Freight um, uh, polisher buffer whatever you want to call it it's the seven inch one and yeah it's not the best out there it's like I think 40 bucks um, but I've been using it pretty extensively and it's working really good so far um, obviously you know a $200 Makita or DeWalt is gonna be better than this but um, these are really popular for doing the cutting with the airway wheel on it and uh, that's what most people use and today we're going to compare it with the Eastwood Contour SCT with the 4 inch buffing and polishing drum on the front of it um, which you can see is this and I've been using this a lot and I absolutely love it so what we're going to do is we are going to uh, I've segmented this off into two sections there's a little kind of dotted line there uh, cleaned it up and we're going to compare the Eastwood and the airway and we're going to do a five minute test and see how much area we can cover with each in five minutes and then compare as well just the the results of both um, again this is just primarily for cutting um, this is like your first pass this isn't going to be an absolute finish mirror polish that we'll talk about in future videos but right now we're just going to compare these two in a five minute test so I got everything all set up, and I'm about to start the timer using my phone. So that way we can keep it exactly at five minutes. See, so we're not cheating or anything like that. So let's get going. We got about a probably about a 14 by 14 inch section, so we're gonna switch setups and 
See how the take this <sighs> Gotta have breathing protection. We're gonna switch setups and see how the contour SCT fares and how it compares. All right, so we're set and we're gonna start rolling. So five minutes on this one. So here are the results. As you can see, the contour got more of the section polished in those five minutes than the airway. Um, and to me, as far as the quality, um, I was going a little faster than the contour with, sorry, it's going a little faster with the contour than I normally go, and so there's a there's a little bit more um, hitting in some sections. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, it is pretty, it's pretty close. Um, I feel like overall, just the the smoothness of the contour is a little better. Um, I see more of the cutting lines in the airways than in the contour, um, so I feel like. You know, this is gonna come to a finish polish a little bit faster. So, you know, um, I will say, obviously, in comparing the two, the, the Eastwood with that bigger drum, um, it'll take these large sections to get them done a lot faster. But whenever you start to get in around the seams and the rivets, um, it's you know it's just not going to be able to hit those spots as well um, and that's one of the real reasons that I am you know I, I definitely still have the airway and you know with, with anything you need to have several different options and several different tools to complete a job um, so with the airway I'm, I'm hitting these spots and some of the edges spots around the edges because whenever you hit that with this you have a greater chance of tearing this up whenever you get towards the edges because it's just um, it catches a little bit easier. Um, so some of the real deep scratches, I'll, I'll hit those with the airway and just go over them and have a little bit more uh, precision with that smaller edge there. So um, this is what I'm using. And uh, I didn't say this, two extra uh, details of this is I'm just using a, a Rogue Tripoli cutting bar for that. Um, and uh, on both of them, I'm around 3,500 RPM, 
I know some people will make the point of like, I use the airway at 6,000 RPM and that's great. It may work. I haven't tried it. That one doesn't go that high. No, no shocker there um, <laughs> being 40 bucks, but you know, airway doesn't recommend going over 3,500 RPM. I don't particularly want to have a piece of it come apart and hit me in the face. So I kind of like to stay within manufacturer's recommendations. Um, if it works for you, awesome. But that's just my thing. Um, so definitely the clear winner here is the Contour SCT when it comes to just hitting a larger area quickly and getting that nice finish. If you're interested in purchasing anything in this video, we got links below. We got links for the Eastwood SCT as well as the drums for it. And I also have links for the airway pad. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to do more videos on polishing the Airstream. I'm going to show kind of my whole process and take a whole panel and do that from start to finish, from cutting to the you know mid-level polish to then a final uh, mirror finish on it. I'm still kind of working out my process, so I'm going to be testing that out. I've been you know, working with different things, different polishes and all that, and trying to find out what I like the best. So we're going to have that coming up. we got a lot more awesome content coming your way. Um, so stay tuned. Feel free to subscribe and like. Leave a comment on what you thought. 